or welcome back from that report. Highly engaged employees hold very favorable opinions of their place of work. When employees feel connected to their teams, love their jobs, and have positive feelings about the organization, they are going to want to stay and put in extra efforts to help the organization succeed. These brand advocates speak highly of their company to family and friends. They encourage other employees around them to do their best. Now, my guest, Samson Robert Okore, is a trained and qualified human resources and marketing management professional from the prestigious Emo State University, OERA. He brings an in-depth wealth of experience from different sectors, including insurance, manufacturing, financial logistics, food and beverage, textile luxuries, power generation and steel, transport and logistics, constructions and chemicals. He is a profound people's manager as well as a development specialist that enhances organizational brands using employer branding and culture alignment. Many thanks for joining me, Samson, on Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. Thank you very much, Justin. The pleasure is mine. All right, let's just write into it as it is. Now, there's several definitions, uh, uh, you know, aspects to employee engagement. Uh, in your perspective, how can you break it down so that we can understand very well? Okay, uh, thank you very much for this um, laudable opportunity to actually grace um, the, the, this medium in a bit to actually reach out to the public. Now, in context of what we're treating right now, I like to address issues from the true um, root word or root meaning. First of all, uh, let's look at what employee is all about before even merging it alongside with what engagement is. So an employee in a nutshell is it, just um, an example of when an individual has been contracted after going through processes of questioning called in quotes here, uh, interview and found worthy uh, to fill a particular uh, a spot, obviously because he or she has actually met all the criteria um, set for that particular uh, role, vis-a-vis, -vis, we talk about the knowledge, the skill, and the ability. Now, so such a uh, such person is actually, uh, you know, given um, uh, a document uh, to state that, okay, fine, going from these moments, you will have to work for us and all terms and conditions also to will be included in that document outlining these are the periods that you're going to work and these are the days or the number of days you're going to work in the week and these are the set objectives or goals from the organization that is required of you to meet and once that is understood now such a uh, such a person he or she is uh, regarded as uh, as an employee committed to a brand working under the auspices of an umbrella to achieve that organizational goal. Then, now treating what engagement is. Now, engagement is um, it, it just like a term when you say, um, I'm giving you a particular thing and the purpose for giving you this, having explained that to you and you have said yes. Now, if you have said yes in affirmation, Okay, so okay, uh, now I understand this thing, then I am committed to actually drive this alongside with you. And there is a mutual concept between uh, myself and the opposite. So that ordinarily is what I class as engagement. Now, to now make the two together, employee engagement is uh, in a situation where um, an employee has been um, duly uh, officially contracted to um, deliver on a set goals or set objectives, mm. define the roles and time period he or she is supposed to deliver on this particular set goal. And I have said yes, and I am running with that vision. So it mm. means if I stay long in it, that makes me engage, and it means that I am happy. And if I'm delivering results, it right. it also to right. also to happy. All right, uh, still trying to understand um, the, uh, the whole uh, engagement of um, employ employees, as it were. Uh, there are talks about um, three Cs. I don't know how true that is. I hear that you need to consider the career, the competence, and the care. Just how do all of these um, work all in hand in hand? 
Oh, thank you very much, Justin. Uh, a, a, a particular individual to fill a role will not be duly considered for a particular role and later engage if he or she does not or fails to meet um, a, a set parameters set by the system. And these parameters are hinged on competencies, competencies or possibly skill sets as defined by the system or by the job role to say, okay, these are the things that I needed, X, Y, Z, uh, for, for you to have, for you to de uh, deliver on this set. So if you have two out of three, most likely you, you might not be considered as the right fit to actually, you know, consider yourself as being engaged or possibly being employed. All right. Okay. So, uh, uh, what exactly, or why exactly, do we really need to engage employees? And uh, for people who are having hard times in engaging the employees, how can they improve upon it? Oh, okay. So, so it, it's very necessary for um, employers, individuals that are looking for third parties to actually fulfill or meet their set goal, uh, uh, engaging. The opposite, in the sense that um, because you cannot do it all by yourself, or possibly you can do it, but you need a time to also to concentrate on other things. Hence, you need the opposite to um, actually coming into the system or into your space to have that delivered for you. So it is very necessary for uh, people to consider um, uh, uh, from the opposite side, uh, helping them to achieve ordinarily what they would have achieved and if it's not taken also to support the the, the the set goals that they have uh, that, they, that they have measured but in a long case as well too sometimes some certain things get to go wrong during the course of when an employee is in quote right now said to be engaged mm. and in the sense that okay um uh, at first uh, an employee has fulfilled all requirements and he or she has set or has been set online or uh, in sprint and uh, obviously the activities are starting. Then comes uh, maybe one or two factors uh, that may have triggered negative impression or perception uh, that could have demotivated uh, such an individual. And before you know it, uh, this particular person tends to disconnect or possibly uh, fail to run with that particular pace he or she started with. Now. One has to be very careful also to when you are in this contractual agreement also to, to make sure that you actually fulfill your own part of um, the, 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 the bid is for you to make sure all necessary uh, resources are provided and from time to time keep on checking the, 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 the contracted individual by documents that he or she is in a high spirit he or she is also to, um, on the right track to actually run with the vision and most likely also to, to produce results. Now, so what we see in the long, uh, or these days right now, is that most employees halfway or even before the journey gets to a reasonable distance, they get themselves uh, themselves uh, disconnected, obviously mm -hmm. because of one thing or the other, either attitudes, okay. um, the attitudes from fellow uh, employees or possibly leadership style or organizational culture. The majority of this lies on organizational culture and possibly some certain uh, characters or features within the system. All right, Samson, I, I was going to talk about, thank God you mentioned uh, the issue of organizational culture and, uh, you know, uh, team spirit and all of that. Because sometime on this show, I talked about um, workplace toxicity and how some people, you know, don't tend to work very well with others uh, just because of uh, some sort of uh, disconnect and it's actually affecting productivity. So let's still look at all of this vis-a-vis uh, -vis motivation, team bonding and team building how do you bring all of that into play in employee engagement okay so so from the onset uh, um, we, we we have to be very uh, careful when we try to draw up plans to engage people to do service or commit the, the service to us in exchange for money in a sense that uh, necessary parameters um, have or factors have to be put in place. Mm -hmm. but you don't get to wait until an individual uh, gets disconnected from what has been discussed from the onset. Other than that, it will be classed uh, as 
uh, been reacting to such a uh, uh, circumstance. So um, now to be uh, a bit proactive for most organizations, I would recommend that um, a, a whole lot of the time when you have your ball rolling, I make sure you get it right in a way. Now, if it is an existing organization, uh, 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 um, experience would have been uh, being in your favor, having worked with different individuals, you have experience of how classes of employees uh, or uh, 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 categories of employees will behave. Uh, 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 let me just pick an example. Would be in, imagine right now you uh, you have just um, employed, for example, right now a human resource practitioner just like me, and um, he or she is made or set uh, to to achieve some certain results. Uh, one of it will be uh, to ensure you drive uh, employee engagement. Uh, you you make sure you set the culture right. And this particular individual, also to, to balance welfare, motivation, and the likes of them. And this particular individual has been doing this for over a period of time. Now, this particular professional has been fulfilling, helping other employees and the organization to grow, meeting needs. And he or she also too is not being paid attention to. Uh, in, case, in, course, in court right now, our target has been recognized. Now, over and over, this individual has mentioned to the organization, okay, I have fulfilled, I have met, and I have achieved so, 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 so and so milestones. However, if I also to get my own work um, activity reviewed and um, um, uh, what's called appraised. Now, if organization pays a blind eyes to this, a whole lot of the time you see these individuals start getting demotivated mm. and a whole lot of perceptions start coming in. So it is advisable for organization to uh, put in place uh, certain factors, certain resources that will help improve the motivation and the intrinsic, uh, the organizational intrinsic uh, motivation in the system. The vis of this is when you're employing a new employee, uh, ensure that you, your, your onboarding process is delivered maximally to the fullest. Um, other than that, what we see in most organizations is um, an employee is brought in into the system and um, maybe one or two days, he or she is made to go through induction and before you know, they already hands up. Whereas uh, the, 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 the system should have been that this individual is taken by hand, obviously through a body, maybe other employees, in the same uh, units or possibly somewhere else, I mean someone else who has more experience in that particular role, so that this individual will get to see or will get to know mm. how activity is, how he or she can achieve results. Then right. it pays it a lot if this individual throughout and will achieve results, other than when these things are not fully met at All this right. individual along the get uh, uh, this disengage or disconnect. All right, Samson, uh, we'll, we'll take a quick break now. When we come back, we'll be looking at uh, uh, retention of um, employees, because, uh, especially right now where there's this uh, Jack Bass syndrome and lots of people are actually leaving their jobs in search of um, greener pastures. Let's see how we can actually motivate and actually talk about productivity as, uh, as we should uh, be doing when we return from this quick break. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We'll be right back to join us again. All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. And we have been looking at employee engagement. And Samson Robert Okera is my guest. He is an HR and marketing and professional. And we has been trained so much insight on the show today. Many thanks for staying with us, uh, Samson. Thank you very much. All right, just before the break, I talked about uh, employee retention. Uh, most uh, businesses, aside from the fact that most people would actually want to go look for greener pastures abroad with the jackpot syndrome and all of that, some organizations are actually having it um, tough retaining their staff. Is, is it could be? It could could it be that uh, they are not well motivated, or what are the issues, or what can you actually advise? Okay, so um, it's neither here nor there, but uh, for me, uh, I would class it as a, a mixture of um, different factors. A whole lot of, let me be very frank with you. Um, um, I set aside some certain organizations that have fantastic processes, fantastic leadership, and also to um, 
um, genuine purpose for doing business. A whole lot of the time, most organizations that are in the system are actually doing some certain things that are not really in compliance to maybe obviously standard practice or possibly that are not meeting uh, the, 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 the objective or the expectations of people that works for them. Now, it is, um, I wouldn't say it's a surprise uh, uh, that we are seeing people leaving where they are working, or possibly, let's look at it contextually, leaving a geographical landscape of Nigeria uh, to uh, Europe, obviously for greener pastures. And let, let's face this fact. Now, a whole lot of the time, um, I, I think people believed that um, better remuneration, better culture, be better benefits are better made available in those developed organizations simply because of where they are uh, presently, um, most likely either they are not recognized or it is totally absent, all of these things. Now, you and I can also to resonate with the fact that the, the, the foreign exchange of um, our dear country today it, it is no longer smiling as it is right now, most likely uh, impacting on the strength, on the ability of the little currency that you earn in terms of salary or income at the end of the month meeting the basic and primary needs of people to a large extent also too this has also to force before people will actually take on the so-called jaguar syndrome or moving from one organization to another they, they, they would have gone through series of difficulties series of challenges imagine if an employee is um entitled to let's say about twenty thousand naira well, assuming that twenty thousand naira in X Y year was better, and after X X year, um, the 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 the, uh, the economic uh, standard uh, status uh, decided to change. So the, the so called twenty thousand naira may not fit in into may this not be year realistic or X, anymore. X years. Mm. That the twenty thousand that might not just be realistic anymore because of the current realities. Exactly. So, and if an, if an employee had gone to an organization, appealed to management or leadership, to, uh, making them understand that I think I need a raise, obviously I need you to look at me, even if you don't want to look at it from the uh, percept, I mean, perceptive of uh, uh, um, emotion, uh, emotion based, okay, use performance based management system to grade my work and have me evaluated. Most likely, at the end of time, I feel I should be able to or get entitled to a raise that can at least help me drive me reasonably through months, running into months and out of months. But if it's, I mean, if it is not recognized or if they're not given attention, they, they start considering what is the next opportunity for them to actually take a leap from where they are to somewhere that is even more better and these things are actually causing retention problem in our system here now to be very frank with you we have so much a large percentage of organization here in this country uh whose um uh, uh, in nature will there's something we we'll call turnover rate or churn rate has so much is so much uh, evidence in in an organization simply because that uh, uh, obviously, they, 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 they are not looking at the directions where they, they needed to pay attention to, which in, in, in case is uh, within the system for them to actually control. And mm -hmm. I bet, I, I will advise also to organizations, if at all they are listening or they're going to listen to this show, that uh, they, they should all sit down. People need to sit down and look at what exactly can, uh, can they do to actually have um, Mr. A and Mr. B, you know, commit uh, 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 to, to, to them or to their activity for a longer period because they tend to also to benefit from this. Imagine when A and B, uh, you know, jets out from your system, obviously, uh, uh, you know, recognizing the number of years of experience they have gathered and how much they have delivered over the years to another organization. Obviously, they are pulling or they are taking something out of you, have it, you know, have it done somewhere and continue with productivity over there. So who is losing right now? It is company A on this other side. So we need to look back and check what we have in the system. Um, if actually employees are actually, you know, uh, you know, getting satisfied with um, the, their stay in the system. And this you can actually achieve by you conducting a survey. All right. And I would advise also to professionals as well to, to begin to conduct survey to tend to determine where or identify where uh, people are no longer 
I'm becoming happy or satisfied with the organization before it turns red. Mm. All right, Samson, that there's so much to say concerning employee engagement, uh, specifically when we talk about the retention and productivity. But time is never, ever your friend uh, when you are actually having so much fun. But then we have to call it um, um, a wrap on the show for today. We must say a very big thank you to you for all of um, the wonderful insights that you have provided on the show for today. We do appreciate them. Thank you very much. All right, my guest has been Samson Robert Okori, and we have been looking at employee engagement and vis a vis retention and productivity. And that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadonye. Business Insight will return to your screen, same time. Bye for now. <laughs>